Hey guys, today's video is a Halloween tutorial. I don't really know if I like how this turned out, but it's supposed to be just black and white. It's supposed to look like I've got a black and white filter on me. And I don't really know how it went. But this is the look that I came up with. I just wanted to do something that you could pretty much do at home and not have any special things to actually need to be able to do this tutorial. So this is what I came up with. I think I'll do maybe one or two other Halloween tutorials. We'll see if I actually end up liking how they look. But if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off by using a colour correcting concealer underneath my eyes. This is just a peachy tone to cover up those dark circles. Just because the white I'm going to use doesn't have much coverage, I just want to cancel it out. Now I'm just going to set that down with some translucent powder. I'm just setting it down because I didn't want it to mix in with the white that I'm going to go in with all over my face. I didn't want it to turn all peachy, so I'm setting it down. Now I'm using the Body Shop um, Shade Adjusting Drops. These are the lightening drops. It's not really a foundation, but it's just drops to lighten your foundation. But I'm using it as a foundation and putting it all over my face and neck, and then putting it underneath my eyes a little bit more because I don't have a concealer. And then I'm setting it down with that same powder, just with a flat top brush, so I'm pressing it into my face. But then I found that it didn't quite have enough coverage, so I'm using a white eyeshadow from the Ben Nye Essential Eyeshadow Palette. This is the vanilla shade. I'm using that to add a little bit more whiteness to my face. Now I'm using the colour Smoky Taupe, and I'm going to use this to start off my contour. I'm just lightly taking this around the places that I would usually contour around my face and making some dimension. Now I'm using the colour Graphite. This is a darker colour. I'm going to use this to really carve out those features, add some more dimension. So I'm taking it in the same places that I took that other colour around the sides of my face, under my cheekbones, on my nose, under my chin, all those places. Now I'm using my Shimmer Strip from Physicians, Physicians Formula. I'm taking that white colour, that's the only colour I'm taking, and I'm using this as a highlight. Then I wanted a little bit more of a highlight and I'm using this white colour from this NYX palette, I'm taking it on the same spots that I put that other one. Now to fill in my brows, I'm just taking these two colours, mixing them together and filling in my brows how I usually would, just with eyeshadows. And now it's skip forward, I lost some footage, but I just took those same graphite and the smoky taupe through my crease and under my eye. Now I'm taking this essence palette and taking this shimmery grey and putting it all over my lid. Now I'm taking the sparkly black and deepening the outer crease. And taking the lighter colour from that same palette and putting it on the inner third of my eyelid. I'm taking the jumbo pencil from NYX, this is the black bean one. I'm putting this on my upper lash line and I'm going to smoke it out. I'm just using a little pencil brush to smoke it out. I found that it kind of blended away too easily so I'm using another pencil to do that. Also taking that underneath my lower lash line and on my waterline. Then I'm taking a matte black liner and I'm just going to do a winged liner with that. Using that same white from that NYX palette, I'm just going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone with that. And pop on some lashes, these are the Coco Risqué lashes. Now I'm going to line my lips with that same eyeliner I was using before, just to create a nice lip line. It's hard to make a nice lip line with a black um, liquid lipstick, it's just straight up. So just lighting my lips and filling them in. And using the black Astralis for Lore lips and filling my lips in even more with that.
Just to give my lips a little bit more dimension, I'm taking this Macaroon Lipstick from NYX and putting it in the center of my lips. This is just a grey color. It's nice and creamy and just blends it in. It makes it look like my lips are plumper than they are. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it somewhat looked like it was supposed to, like I'm in grayscale. I don't know, it's really hard to tell on this monitor. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That would be great if you could. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is Chelsea Beauty with the underscore at the end. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!